Lea Haonahu, Yas Rams, and I'm welcoming you here to Kuchi Oval for Sydney University and the first episode of Wix News. We'll have in-depth coverage, interviews, and around the grounds. So join us every week. <laughs> Welcome to Wix TV with Spence. Saturday 9th of May, we are talking to Neo Halangahu, captain of first grade and uh, owner and proprietor of Halangahu Test and Tag, which is bringing us this episode of Wix TV. Neo, how are you going, mate? Yeah, good, thanks, Dan. Great, great to be here with you. Yeah, always, always. How's the business going, mate? Uh, everything's coming on really well. I, uh, I feel like we've prepared well in the business and I've, I've studied the industry quite well, so uh, I think we're really found our niche and we're ready to go. Yeah mate, you're obviously a very hard worker. I know I rang you the other day, you were uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you're shopping for goldfish, so obviously, you know, it's very tough on the time. Uh, I think you've really got to find a balance in between actually working and, and also finding mascots for your business, and yeah. I think I've, I've reached that balance quite well. Oh, good stuff mate. So, with all this heavy work, are you finding any time for the rugby? Uh, I still find time. I, I do. I, I don't miss a training session, as you know. Yeah, right. I'm sure. the first one there to most of them, and, and stay back for the extras at the end. Yeah, no, always, always, mate. Um, Sydney Uni today. Uh, huge challenge for us. We knocked off Gordon last week in a good win. Uh, mate, what do you what do you think of the game today? Obviously, not that uh, good uh, challenge of playing against your brother this week, but uh, but nonetheless, an exciting opportunity today. Yeah, look, I'm glad you brought that up, then, because it's quite a good question and. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to answer it. So I think it's one of the games you look for at the start of the year and, and you probably look for East and Sydney Uni down at Coogee Oval and we've got that today thankfully. So uh, really looking forward to the challenge. They're quite a good team and they're going quite well so I think we'll need to be on our game to knock them off. Yeah mate, absolutely. Now being captain, yeah, obviously uh, flourished under the extra responsibility. A lot of hit and spins, a lot of slower balls. Uh, you know, getting over the ad line a lot. Mate, what do you attribute that to? Obviously. You know, you've been working really hard on the physique in the gym, on the sprint track. Yeah, well, I have, as you said, and uh, a wise man once said to me that, that leaders aren't made, they're born. Yeah, and right. I find that very true because I think I've fitted into the role quite well. Yeah, you have, mate. Not, not, not huge shoes to fill with the, re with the retirement of Chris Houston, so obviously lucky that you come in on the back of that performance. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you said, he, he probably didn't set a standard that, that I had too much to keep up, so... Uh, <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. I'm, like, I'd, you could have to talk to the other players, but I'm just doing okay. Yeah, mate, I think the boys are enjoying it. Mate, um, so how do you think we're up for the rest of the season? Obviously, uh, grand final again. Hopefully, we'll not, we'll not whoever we come up against off. But, um, mate, we're tracking pretty well. Would you agree? Oh, mate, like, like the old cliche goes, you look as far as you can. Yeah, right. So I, uh, I think we'll make the grand final and more than one. Right? Yeah, obviously, you know. Can't have chickens be can't have eggs before that much and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're all in the same basket. Yeah, mate, good stuff. Well, mate, thanks for having a chat to us today. Uh, good luck out on the pitch, mate. I'm sure we'll smash up the uni scrum, hopefully. Yep. But, uh, mate, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me. Cheers, mate. Mate, do you want a beer at the More Better Bar? I would love one. Let's go get one. All right. Welcome back to Wix TV. I've got with me today's 13, Timmy Wright. Tim, I'm going to start with a big question. Uh, we've been going quite well so far this year and uh, everything's coming along quite nicely and um, what, what do you think we need to do today and, and what improvements do we need to make for us to win? Um, we need to score more points on the other side and play better footy than them. Good point, good point. Um, another question I've got for you, you seem to enjoy playing 13, but would, that, would you say that's your favourite position? No. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, thanks for being with us today, Tim. No worries, thanks, Neil. Right now, Mitchie. Let's go, boys. Gotta get, get. 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 Of Wix News. I'm Daniel Spencer, this is Tim Maxwell. We're bringing you the results from the previous week's game and an update on all that's happening around the club at the moment. Coming to you from the Ramwick Rugby Club in Coogee. And Tim, Wix News, mate. Uh, yeah, exciting. it is, it's good. Um, what we're aiming to do is you know, bring a bit of the rugby out to those people who can't get to all the matches and uh, just provide something for the guys just to have a look at on a weekly basis. Cool. 
So as I said, we're going to bring you some of the scores from the previous round. The previous round was Randwick versus Sydney Uni on the 9th of May down at Coogee Oval. Mm. Mate, what a great weekend of rugby. Yeah, there's um, nothing better than playing at Coogee Oval, particularly against a team like Sydney Uni. Um, and to have the support down there that we did on the weekend was just amazing. You know, I think all the guys right through the grades really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, the support's been awesome all year. Mate, we'll, crack, we'll go into the, into the scores from the various grades. Fourth grade. Uh, made another win, making a bit of a habit of it at the fourth grade boys. I think it's about 35 plus yeah. wins on the trot, which is a bit of a record. Apparently, it is a club city club record, which is which is really good. 18-15, uh, Randwick mm. over Sydney Uni. One of uh, their closer ones. Yeah, one of their closer ones. They've been thumping teams. It's good to see the boys can win the tight ones as well. Mm -hmm. uh, try scorers were Matty Lippiet with one, Sam Bartlett with one. That's one more than his big brother Buff. Uh, Pierce Saps who got one. Yep. And Dale uh, Lindsay kicked the penalty. Mm. So, mate, yeah, I watched some of that game. It was a really good quality match. Mm. Uh, and, yeah, the boys did really well to beat a strong Sydney Uni fourth grade. Yeah, fourth grade are really playing some impressive rugby. There's a lot of guys in contention to play for fourth grade. Um, I think between fourth and fifth grade, there's other, over 45 players mm. vying for that one team. So there's, there's definitely a lot of talent in the lower grades, and it's definitely showing in the way they're playing football. Yeah, that's no, awesome. So you got third grade there for us, mate? Yeah, third grade had a, um, a pretty narrow loss, 22-20. They lost on the bell. Um, Solo scored a try, Barron with a try. Nethers uh, got two um, conversions, one penalty and a try of his own. Mm. Um, very unlucky third grade. They've been playing some great football. I think there was a dodgy penalty in this. The boys were pretty dirty on. Yeah. Yep. So a bit of a bit of bit of luck not going their way at the moment. No, but I, I really think they should uh, stick to their laurels. They're, they're you know playing some fantastic football. Um, they've got a good nucleus of players down there. Yep. Um, and having Baron back, I think, will make a big difference on a week to week basis. Yeah, you got that. You got that uh, head fixed up with this. Yeah, I, I don't know what they did, but he looks about 10 years younger. I'd get a nip and tuck. I think uh, Sonia Kruger is trying to get him for that 10 years younger thing or something. Hey, it looks there. good. Good stuff. Second grade, once again, another tight game. 22-14. Mm. Points going to Sydney Uni, which was a bit disappointing. Um, mate, they're always strong in second grade Sydney Uni. They are. Yeah, it's pretty much a, a first grade sort of mm. quality that they play in second grade there. Our boys are doing really well in second grade. Mm. Um, Simon Tanashi got a try, good to see Nackers is in good form. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean Foley got a try, yep. mate he's probably one of the best guys coming through I think at the moment, mm -hmm. he's showing a lot of good form, I haven't seen him play a bad game. Obviously good talent, local boy from Waverley College, mm -hmm. uh, played at the Roosters, mate he seems to be the, the good, so it'd be good to see him up in first grade sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a talented player both in attack and defence and uh, he adds a lot to uh, second grade. Um, I think even though he's, he's really pushing for first grade, he, he's going to get a lot out of playing second grade and I think the guys playing around him will, will as well. So, yeah, definitely. Um, looking forward to what he has to offer towards the club over the next you know, six months. Excellent. So, mate, you run us through first grade. Yeah, first grade. Uh, they got up in a close one, 20 points to 14. Uh, Neo got a try um, in, I think it was uh, the 20th minute. Dane scored a try in about the first five minutes. Uh, yep. Really shot out of the box in that one. Marshall Mulroy scored a great try from a uh, great support play. They uh, kicked the penalty in a conversion as well. So, um, from a, a team standpoint, we were, we were pretty happy with the win. Yeah, no, um, it was good. It was a tough game out there. Very hard. Especially in the forwards, always is. Uh, Marshall's been in good form. Marshall's been great. Which has been good. It was good to see Dana get one over his little brother. Yeah. I'm sure he was pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, on the whole, a pretty good performance. We'll be looking for a little bit more against Manly uh, coming up next round. Uh, I think that'll be a pretty tough assignment at Manly Oval coming off one loss out of, uh, I think, six outings. So yeah, they're going to be very dangerous. Up. But I think um, if Tim Wright continues his form that he is uh, showing, I think, I think we're in a pretty good stead. He's definitely getting across the game line a lot, a lot more than, um, than, uh, than he's not. I yeah, it's a, a common cliche, but for for a forward pack that wants a bit of go forward, um, you can really play off the back of someone like Tim Wright. Yeah, that's one. good. Probably be a bit heavy this week. He got the player of the round and got so he got tucked two, into yeah, a John Dingle burger. Yeah, he got two hamburgers, so he's probably reaching uh, about seventy kilos. Yeah, he says good. Yeah, that's good. Um, big he, weight for him. Mind you, we had to give up the jockey the you other know, morning runs down at you know uh, around the race course, but that's all right. We're more than happy to have him at Randwick full time and. Uh, Keeping away from those stables. Yeah, no, mate, he's doing really well. So that's it from us from Wix News.
as I said, we'll be back every week to update you on all the scores from all the grades and give you a little bit of news from around the grounds and what's going on in Ramwick Club Rugby. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Dougie. What's going on?